Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a PixCap. So this video is sponsored by PixCap and it's basically a 3D software like website, which is not a 3D software, but it's only a website. Allows you to create amazing 3D models with thousands of templates. You can edit them, you can change the color, you can even export the 3D models as a video image or even bring it into your favorite 3D software of choice. So um, this is just uh, so cool and uh, since the, I've discovered this, I've been playing around with this and I've actually used it on a couple of projects myself and I'll show you guys how to use it and I'm very sure it will be very useful to you guys as well. All right, so first off, you can go to the website, pixcap.com. You can click on sign in and continue with Gmail. And once you do, you'll be prompted with a website like this, with a page like this. So uh, I'm using a pro version right now, but uh, you can use the free version as well. And if you want to get to the pro version, I'll uh, include a link in the description, which you can click and you'll get 20% off of the pro version price. All right. So you have models, you have scenes, and you have the different packs here that I can go and click on view all and it'll show you this huge collection of amazing 3D models that you can do. So you have everything, right? So, you know, adventure stuff, designer tools, beauty product and stuff. So I'll just click on one. So I'll go into adventure stuff and you have all these 3D models. So you can just click on one and it'll load it inside the interface. So here is my scene. Uh, I can just uh, lift, click, and drag. And it's just like the navigation is like any other 3D software. So you can go ahead, uh, uh, lift, click, and drag, and it'll orbit. Middle click and drag, it'll pan, and the wheel of the mouse is going to zoom in and out. All right? The cool thing is you can change the, uh, the color of each and every of these objects. You can click on this, change the color to like, or like orange, change this to blue or whatever color that you want and you have the scene right here right so that's okay you can also go and export your design uh, if it has an animation you'll, you can export video as well but in this case we don't have animation and you can export the different size of images that you want you can even export a GLB format for using into other 3d softwares which I'll get into later uh, but for now just like that you can you have this amazing 3D model and just like that. So we'll get into the interface in a bit, but for now I'll go back here and you can enjoy all these 3D models. All right, so if you want to create your own 3D models, you can go into my projects. You can even create your own avatar, which is something really cool. You can you can play around with that. It'll just upload an image and it'll, it'll create your avatar. And I can go into create a project so the interface is like most 3D softwares. You can hit Alt and lift, click and drag, it'll orbit. Alt, middle click and drag, it'll pan and the wheel of the mouse is going to zoom in and out. All right. Uh, so you can add 3D objects. You can add a camera, flat arrow, 3D text even. You can even add like a 3D text here, which is really nice. You go ahead, select this, move it up. You can change the color to any color that you want. So this is the base mesh. You can change the text to any text that you want. Effects Maniac and it'll update just like that. Uh, or you can go uh, and use the powerful library of PixCap, which is really cool. So you go and you have all the 3D models. You have scenes, you have the characters and you have animations, uh, which is really powerful. It's just it's just a very powerful 3D software which you don't even have to install and you can use all these features, right? So I'll just go and I'll just bring one of the scenes here. Uh, this is what I've used for the thumbnail image. You can, you can bring this one. I'll just click here and it'll load the 3D scene and I can go and check it out. And it even has animation so I can play it. Uh, and just imagine creating or modeling something like this in a 3D software. It'll just take forever, right? But in this case, you just have it with a click of a button and the animation, everything is there. And you can also add another 3D model. So I'll go to models uh, or characters. I'll select this panda model 
uh, and he's here. So I can hit R and scale him up. And if I want him to walk, I can just go again to the library, go to the animations, and I'll go with running jump. Apply this, and it'll apply. So I can go to the hip and hide it. And yeah, so our character is actually jumping and running. So you can do that. Yeah. So this is really cool, right? Um, and if you want to export this, you can go into export, FBX, GLB, video, GIF, or image. So I'm going to show you guys how to export this scene into your 3D software of choice. Of course, video is easy. You can click on it, 1920 by 1080, export video, and you're good to go. Uh, you can also import uh, your own 3D files uh, from any 3D software that you want. And uh, one more thing, if you want to see all the shortcuts for this, you can hit F1 and all the shortcuts will be there. And you can also change it to wireframe view, which will show you all the wireframe of the object. So it's really cool. And you don't need like, uh, you, you just need basic 3D knowledge to be able to work in this. So I can go and export. So I've exported this model previously. If I go back to the dashboard, uh, this one. So I've exported this uh, GLB and as an FBX. And I'll show you guys how to import it into all the 3D software. So I'll show you guys how to uh, open it in Blender, 3ds Max, and Maya. So here I am inside Blender, and I'm going to delete the default cube. I'll go to File, Import, and GLB. And I'll select this. So I'll select this model, Import and it'll just import the whole thing and look how cool this one is looking just imagine making this in blender it'll just take a few days right but we have it with a click of a button and you can add lights you can do dynamics you can do everything that you want and the scene is at your mercy so if you want to import this into like 3ds max or maya somehow they don't open the glb format you can go into export and export in fbx and you can open up Maya. So here is the scene, the FBX file inside of Maya, and it looks pretty nice. So you can go and work with it. You can add dynamic effects. You can add a light. You can do everything with it. So I'm just going to go to like what uh, modeling, and I'll go to Arnold lights. I'll add a physical sky, and I'm going to go into the rendering. Let's just see a preview of this. So it looks pretty cool. I'm going to go increase the intensity just like that and we have a scene that is really nice and if we build it like in five minutes it's not even like five minutes so just imagine creating something like this it'll take a few days right but in this case we've created it like in five minutes using PixCap and Maya so I'm just gonna stop this and you can also bring it into 3D Studio Max or Cinema 4D or Houdini or any 3D software that you want right so the interface of the PixCap website and this application is really cool and all powerful by itself but if you even want to like you know get more into it and you know add some dynamic effects and stuff you can bring it into your favorite software of choice as I've shown you here right so I'll go back to the uh, main sort of PixCap the models so yeah, this is PixCap in a nutshell, and I hope you guys, I, I, I know that I haven't covered like everything in detail, but you, uh, I'll just leave it to you guys. You can go ahead and play around with it, and I'm sure you'll love it. I know I did, because I've been playing with this since the day I got to know about it, right? So, and I've actually used it on a project today, which is which really helped me out a lot, and I hope it helps you guys as well. So if you go down here, you have uh, the you know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Discord. So the Instagram, their Instagram is a PixCap app, and they have some giveaways and they have some competitions, which you can also do. And also you can join their Discord page. So it's just really amazing. So yeah, that is PixCap in a nutshell, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do so and support me along the process as well. And this was the today's video. Till the next one. Enjoy working.